I want you to know what your skills are and what your strengths are so you can focus on them and outsource what your weaknesses are. Because if you try and fix your weaknesses, it's not going to work. For example, I'm not a manager type, right? That's why I've got Lawrence in place, for example, in the software. He's a manager type. He can manage people. He can execute at speed. He's good at completing a task, right? Like our portal. Like I can't just be like, oh, create an investor portal. It doesn't work like that. I come up with ideas. I see around corners. I can, I can see things before. I'm a vi I visualize things. I'm a creator, right? You can probably tell that, right? I'm a creative type. And I'm very extroverted. Like the personality test, you be honest with the questions. I'm a very extroverted type. I, I enjoy speaking. I like interacting. Some people, your type, some people like having, some people here, I can sort of tell already, would rather on a Saturday have a nice book with a cup of tea. Some people would like to be out socializing and interacting, right? So you guys are probably like, I'm the book guy or the book girl. Everyone's different. So it's very powerful you know when you're building a team that you know where each other's strengths are but also what you want to double down on to get good at so you're not doing things that you don't really like and you're not really good at in the first place. Make sense, guys? Yes? Yeah. Has anyone taken it before, the Myers-Briggs? Yeah. Um, that's fantastic. It, it's, it's freaking accurate. I'm like, good. on that level, it's like, good Lord, that's... Because <laughs> I was a little bit skeptical, I'll be honest. I knew about it, but Volta reinforced me. He's listening, he's probably laughing now. It's like Maria was always like, uh, what is Tom's personality type? Because he's a numbers guy and he's in. I was like, what is he? Um, and it's interesting. I'm actually the, I don't remember what it was. Not dictator, sounds bad, dictator. <laughs> I was going to say, no, what is it? Um, the Campaign manager? No, it wasn't campaign manager. No, it was, I can't remember now. I've got it on my email. But it's fantastic. It takes about eight, nine minutes to do. And it really will break down your strengths what you're good at and what your weaknesses are. And then you want to find people as you build a team or business partners, people that gel together. Because there's something so powerful about having people in their element. OK, there is something very powerful. So I'll be talking about that. Is that interesting to you guys? Yeah. yeah. Um, that's pretty cool. I'm going to be talking about the principles of being a consistent marketer, about how powerful marketing is. Marketing, a lot of you guys join me because of marketing, right? A lot, everyone says, like, when it comes to marketing you can't be that guy like this is the truth like, I know marketing inside out because I've studied it for about marketing I would say 10 years every day looking at people's script I'm obsessed about it I just am I'm and I'm really good at it you can take a lot of stuff from me if you apply the right principles so I want to make sure you understand the principles not so much the nitty-gritty of it it's more the principles okay and then we're going to be going over talking to sellers and student hot seats and so forth, where you're struggling, what you're stuck with, some things you really want to get out of, like you have a burning question, you're like, shit, my Facebook ads aren't performing, um, cat objections, for example, like Google ads, that's coming next week, which, I'm, which is shocking, actually. What I've, I've, I've learned, 30, oh, man, man, I spent 36 grand on this mastermind, and in the first day it was worth it, I was like, Good Lord, this is good. Like, this is, this is real good. I mean, this guy that I learned from spends about half a million a, uh, a month on marketing. And it's very powerful. For, I was trying to get Ty Lopez to teach me, but he doesn't teach. He doesn't like to show what he's doing. But Alex Becker, he just goes, yeah, here's exactly what I do. Like, exactly everything I target, and it's powerful. And I want to teach it to you guys about the power. I'm not going to go into the details today. That's going to come next week. But it... it perfectly works with Facebook, but it's so undertapped, it's so cheap. YouTube, do you know how much people spend on YouTube? Google own YouTube. And Google have so much info, it's shocking. Like, think about it, Gmail, like Google Voice people have. Like, all these things, all the data they have is crazy. So it's very powerful for our niche business. Before, I didn't teach it because it was expensive. Now, there's so much things like Gmail ads. Like, there's just incredible things you can do that you can start with two, 300 quid. So I'm really excited to get you guys on that as well. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me. But now we're going to go through the 28-day challenge. And are we talking about like, how it works, the rules, and so forth? There's many guys in the group right now that are doing different types of deals. So a deal is a deal. I don't care if it's a six-figure deal you're co-sourcing, like what Sam was talking about, multi-million pound deal, or a small lease option, or whatever you've got on the table right now. But it's focused on, I'm going to do a deal, 
and get a reservation fee in 28 days. That should be your main focus, your mission, like going to war. It's like, okay, here's our mission, here's our goal. Our mind doesn't change from that because if you can get past that first deal, then everything else becomes easy. Would you agree, guys? Yes? Yeah. And there's some people that are just doing amazing stuff, right? So it's really inspiring. Um, so we actually we were talking about before, Sam, about some of the mindset stuff, about, about overwhelm. You said some, something really interesting. We were talking about that. And yeah, Sam said something really interesting. Maybe you want to share it. You said it better than me. <laughs> so we were talking about overwhelm just because it kind of came up this morning. Um, and it comes up all the time, to be fair, as you're coaching, you kind of see it day in, day out. And I, was, I remember when I, I, as Tom just said, I came from a property background. So I had, I suppose, or a property and sales background before uh, doing one-to-one -one with Tom like five years ago. Um, so I always put myself in my shoes when speaking to you guys. And I understand the sort of the, uh, the challenges and mindset challenges that you, you guys potentially have. And overwhelm, I think, is the biggest reason why people don't succeed in property sourcing because at the beginning you come from having no no knowledge you Tom gets you on, within coaching and then it's like boof you're just given all this information and it's just like shit there's a lot going on here you've got videos to do you get your head around this get around that but I think it's the it's the biggest the, the biggest stumbling block and I think well where I always where I think I think that the differences were the people that succeed and don't and it was, I remember being completely overwhelmed and thinking, lace options. It was like, I remember watching the videos that Tom had done back then and reading up on it and all that sort of stuff. And thinking, <coughs> your head starts obviously kind of uh, playing tricks with you and you start thinking, I don't know about this enough. What am I going to, how am I going to speak to somebody if I don't know all the full in and outs of it and all that sort of stuff. But I remember at the time thinking, and I've done this over from my career, where it's like, you don't, you, you need to crack on with it and you know that. Um, and overwhelms kind of playing tricks with your mind and so forth. But I've learned over the years that you have just got to get on with it. And I think the, the biggest thing I've seen with coaching clients that, that have succeeded is they everyone suffers the same um, overwhelm when they're, they're starting with sourcing or, or whatever, but they just get on the phone and do it. It's, that's the kind of the approach I had. It was like, I don't know everything and it's going to take some time to get to know it. But if I start making calls and speaking to people, I know I'm going to learn quicker than trying to have every single answer, which to be honest is impossible. You can't learn everything from a theory thing and just do it. That's what we were saying, Sam, weren't we, about some people are like, you said it really good. Most people are like, but I need to know this after I talk to the seller and that. And it's like, you do know, you just go through the webinar and write it down and just stick it on a whiteboard. But again, it's like, it's not. It's never going to be perfect. Right? No, it's like, not. That's like, it's like saying, what's going to happen in 10 years? I need to know every step. God, can you please tell me every step along the way? So don't expect that, you know what I mean? It I think you, like I think you, if, if, you in, if you tell yourself, I'm not going to know everything, but I'm just going to get on the phone yeah. and speak to people, there's always an out to allow you to, worst case scenario, and I, we, we were talking about this just now, weren't we? Um, what's the worst that can happen? So you're on the phone to a lead, wherever that that's come from, great. and okay, it all goes completely tits up, and this doesn't really happen anyhow, so this is kind of the point you're making, yeah. isn't it? But in your head, it's kind of, oh, they're going to gonna end in a big argument. What's the worst that can happen? You put the phone down and that's the end of you. It could be marketing, it could be like, shit, is this ever going to work? It's crap. It could be anything. You... Or, or any like, limiting belief, right? And but sometimes, let's it... be honest, it is shit. You can have a crap month. But it doesn't, but in reality, that doesn't actually happen. Yeah. And what happens is you get on the phone and, yeah, you're daunted because you, you're, in the back of your mind, you're thinking, I don't know if I think. What if they ask me this? But there's always a get out anyhow. Even th th Clearly it comes with practice. And then once you've spoken to 50 people on the phone, you soon realize that pretty much they ask the same questions or a different variety, variant of it rather yes. every single time. But you kind of, well, the worst thing, that the, the easy quick get out is even if someone puts you on the spot and asks you a question, I always just used to fire back. That's a really good question, something along, along these lines. It's a really good question. I'd need to double check that with my business partner. They normally deal with that aspect of whatever you're talking about. Um, and then you can go back to my second call and give them that response anyhow. And in that meantime, jump on Voxer, ask me or Tom whatever the question is, and then crack on. So it's, uh, that, that's the, the biggest thing I just see is, is definitely the overwhelm and that's stopping people getting on the phones. And actually, <coughs> unless you're in a very privileged position where say you're working your JV in, um, you, you, you have to get over that. No matter how uncomfortable it is, 
if you want to succeed, you have to be able to get on the phone, basically. And yeah, and credit to Sam is he, he's not just talking about it. He actually, you did your de first deal in eight weeks, wasn't it? Ten weeks before yeah, my bay. You set yourself up. But this power of goals, like you said, I remember you said, Tom, I remember I was in Barcelona at the time. You said, my goal, you're like frustrated in a good way. You're like, oh, my mm. goal is to get a deal by my bay. I want to push it. And you did. Yeah. You got a reservation fee, wasn't it? Yeah. In? And yeah, it was closing like a free grand deal. Yeah. Like, that's the power of it. Even though, guys, that's the thing. I don't we don't want to say we don't have the overwhelm or we don't have the negative things going on in our life or the challenges, but sometimes it's just bucking up really and just doing it. Do you know what I mean? It's accepting it, acceptance, yeah. That's a very, it's very simple, you know? It's not complicated. It's like, okay, I'm going to accept my situation, but not accept it in a way where I'm not going to do anything. Does that make sense? It's like, okay, I'm here, I'm stuck in the mud. Starting the power of now is a great book by Eckhart Tolle. Uh, Tolle talks about talk about that. I'm stuck in the mud. I'm, I can complain all day about being stuck in the mud, or I can get out of the mud and then get on with my life. You know, our deal fell through crap. Annoying. I'm overwhelmed. Oh, why didn't I get the most out of the first few months? I'm beating myself up. Okay, I stop. What can I do? What action can I take? Any do that. So that's the power of this challenge. Is it's just what it's going to do? Is will everyone do a deal? Who knows? Will a lot of people do deals, heck yes. Why? Because the action. But you're going to change in the process. You're going to become someone different because you're going to do things that you haven't done before and you're going to be put, there's going to be pressure on you. They say coal, right? The diamonds. In the, it, it's, first, it's coal. It's a little black rock. And then through the pressure that it goes through, through all the, or try and end, the mold of it turns into a diamond. But first, it's a bit of coal. That is a metaphor I look at every day. I think of that myself. Any challenge comes in, okay, I'm the coal right now. I'm going through a process, right? And it's going to turn out to be a diamond. And that's someone that's very successful. Someone that, if, when you're successful, guys, in terms of the mindset, they always say that you could take everything away from the millionaires and they would have it back very fast because it's the belief they've got, guys. It's the mindset. Like, I believe, I don't care if I lose. I, honestly, I can sit here, I couldn't care less. Like, people go, Tom, someone said this about you. Like, I, I don't even know. I don't care less. I used to a couple of years ago. I used to be like, who, you know, I need to have an SEO management to make sure my name's perfect. Like, I can care less. I, I don't care. I'm too focused on my goal. Does that make sense? And actually drives me. So I want you to use that because you, you become superhuman. It's a weird thing you can have. And this is coming from someone, if you knew me back then at school, you'd be like, this kid is not going to make it far. You know? <laughs> he's not going to go far. Like, that's what they used to say. He's going to work at a chicken factory, postman. Not knocking that, honestly. Like, they're hard workers. I'm not going to knock people working in them jobs. Um, they're just stuck, you know? So it's upsetting, really, that people are not, it, don't have an influence of a positive person around them or a mentor. But, you know, that's what everyone said about me. But I took control of my mind. That would have been me, but I took control of my mind. So I did things like this. The challenge isn't like, oh, what do we give the guys? It's like a challenge. These challenges really help me. Because it's almost like when you have a new year, you have a new year's resolution, it's a mental hack, a mind hack. It's like, really, there's nothing. A new year's the same day as any other day. But when you have someone giving you that structure, it makes you think, crap, actually, I've got real accountability here. Everyone else is doing it. It's a four-minute mile. When you see everyone else doing it, when you see people post, that's why I say to people, post your deals, talk about them. You know, a lot of people still don't because they go, I don't want to you know, show off and stuff. I'm like, no, like, it's going to encourage people and it's going to make you attract good business partnerships. Does it feel good when people share their success? Right? But who's had it? They might have had some success, but they go, I don't really want to share it. Like, who's had that? Yeah, yeah, I've had that before. <laughs> you probably wouldn't believe it, but I've had that. Like, oh, no, nah, nah, I'll leave it. I don't want to talk about that because that's a bit too extreme, right? And I'm like, nah, do it. If it can, if it will piss 99 people off, but one person, it could change their life. So I'm focused on that one. Okay, guys, so we're getting to the rules uh, in a second, but I want you to first really understand a few things that we're going to be doing. So we're getting to the tactics you've got to do with this, okay? Into the specifics. But what I recommend you do first is over this next 28 days, is you just write something like this, like well, Dom done it brilliantly the other day. What I'm gonna do, make sure you guys do this because the reason why we, I want you to post this and write it down on a piece of paper because me and Sam are gonna be holding you guys accountable and calling you out when you're not doing it. Do you want that, guys? Yes? Yeah. Do you want that? Because you don't, if you want a friend, get a dog. <laughs> like, we can't have dogs in my apartment. Laurie's so angry, we're getting a bulldog. We want a bulldog. 
Uh, they're so cute, man. I love them. Um, we really want one. Laurie's like, every time she's just like, ah. But uh, we can't get one. Uh, I'm the bulldog, I guess. Uh, but no, no, seriously, like, we're going to be holding you accountable. And sometimes it's not going to be nice. But we're not, again, we're friendly people, guys, but you don't want people to be nice. So Michael Jordan's coach used to, he used to, he'd say, it's not enough, it's not enough, more, more, more. That's a friend. Because they're actually saying, I like that when people keep putting pressure on me. Like my business partner, Lawrence, it's enormous amounts of pressure. Tom, where is it? Where is it? I'm like, good Lord, I get pissed off at the guy. He's annoying. Do you know what I mean? But it's actually good. And you need that. Like we need that pressure. Remember that coal to diamond. Remember that. Stick it up somewhere. Visually, it's a beautiful metaphor. Um, because I don't want you guys to think in these mentoring groups and stuff like that, it's always going to be up. And then when you have a little low or you procrastinate, you beat yourself up and you think everyone else is perfect, because it's an illusion, guys. No one is. Okay? Um, but they just do it a little bit more. That's the thing. So here's what I want you to do. So wake up one hour. Stop writing this down, guys, the rules. One hour earlier. Start committing to wake up one hour earlier. Again, um, I would say that it is a, that's challenging. Believe me, it seems simple. At four fifteen, no, no four fifteen now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeez. One hour. <laughs> yes. Huh? Yeah, exactly. But you're going to be doing what the actions that you got to do in the morning. Yeah. So whatever time you wake up now, commit to waking up an hour. That's extreme. I mean, you're waking up at five fifteen, but now you're going to wake up at four fifteen. And right. So so there's that. And um, what I want you to do as well is is when you wake up. Screenshot your phone with the time. Huh? Well, no. Yeah, exactly. We're we're not there. I'm not. I'm. I'm not laying in bed with you guys. Okay. I'm not laying in bed with you. That's not part of the mentorship. <laughs> yeah. But guys, that's you. If you don't do it, that's you. And again, I'm not perfect with this, trust me. Like, but if you don't do this, you're letting yourself down. Remember the promise, you get confidence by keeping the promises you tell yourself. That, it's, like a good, it's your good mind going, wow, you're actually doing it. Instead of letting yourself down all the time. So wake up an hour earlier. Again, am I saying be really lacking in sleep? No, try and go an hour, go to bed an hour earlier because obviously sleep's important. I'm not saying like only sleep three hours a day, but uh, three hours a night, but make sure you do that, okay? These are just little things. I'm not going to be giving you too much because it's going to be overwhelming for you. Um, but start doing that, okay? Um, elimination, because sometimes the power of achievement, you can even write this down, the power of achievement is subtracting things out of your life. It's deleting things. Trust me, I could look in your life and speak to you, and I could find enormous amounts of stuff that you go, I don't even like it. Why am I doing this? So get rid of things. It won't apply to every one of you, but news. Gossiping. Yeah, there's some gossipers out there. <laughs> Gossiping. Some of you guys won't be, but trust me, like, we all get caught up in it. You know, it's this little stuff, you know, I'm going to be holding you accountable with this as well, where you'll be writing down your um, daily actions. Um, and, you know, a lot of the times, this stuff like here, right? Talking crap, eating fussing, hanging out with negative people, writing what people, these are examples. But breaking problems and letting people down, doing stupid stuff, things that make you think, oh, why did I do that? Who's done that before? Yes? Of course, I've done that. And I'm like, I feel like crap now. Now I'm going to have to start from zero again and build myself up again. It's not good. So don't let yourself down. Um, and it's going to be hard. This is going to be hard. Like, it's going to be a challenge emotionally. It's going to be like, oh, man, this is, this is, some people won't cut it. You know, a lot of the people that are not here today, just not, not, not cutting it. Let's just be honest. A lot of the guys will be cut for it. So if you're listening to recording, guys, again, apply this and you'll change your life. Now, I'm not saying that in a negative way. I'm saying it in a positive way that, look, if you want success, do what it takes. And you'll be like, well, I remember I was so behind and I did it and I'm successful now and I'm happy. You know? Um, so let's do that. So make sure, guys, again, you wake up one hour earlier and just screenshot, screenshot it. And what I want you to do is it doesn't matter if you wake up at look, if you've got to wake up at eight, wake up at seven, whatever it is for you. I know you guys, it's gonna be a challenge. Look, this isn't easy. This is a do or die series. You know? But I've done this before in the past and the success was staggering. It was it was it was just insane. We had like six people do a deal. And they never even made a phone call to the people that did deals. They didn't even make an offer. 
they're doing deals, right? It's like, whoa, people are like, what? And this is crazy. So I want to make sure we incorporate that back in. Okay, wake up one hour earlier. And in the morning, write down your main actions that you want to achieve that day. So just write it down. Or review it. So some of you guys will write it in the morning or review. Sometimes I say, write down um, tomorrow's actions today. So in the evening, just write down what you want to achieve tomorrow. Have it real simple. Do you know what I do, guys? Like, I write it down. I learned this from Tim Ferriss. He said, do this. Have a piece of paper, fold it like this, and your action list should be no bigger than this. Keep it simple, because you can't achieve 100 things. And star, what is the main things that I have to do? OK, and we're going to be giving, you know what that is, right, guys? It's offers. Yeah, offers, marketing, you know, agents, co-sourcing, and you know, stuff like that, right? Exactly, but that's what's going to get that done. Um, so really understand what I was talking about earlier about subtracting. Um, that will help you because I find when we get rid of crap, we feel, it's like, you know when you clean your house? You clean your house, you feel better, right? It's just like, oh, I feel better now because mentally you've got rid of stuff, you've organized stuff, and you're just like, oh, I feel better now. I, I feel like I can focus. So do that in your day-to-day -day activity, okay? Um, and what I want you to do is here, as you can see, is this works every week. So what you want to do is you want to um, duplicate and you will ha have each week. So you, obviously we've got four weeks to do, right? So make sure if we look down here, so I'm trying to, so you've got the first week and you can date it. So you just go rename. So you can put 80, 20, and then you can put, um, what, what's the date? It's a 20, 20 of, right? you know, 20th uh, to, what, 27th or whatever. Um, you get it. So each week, so you understand um, each week you're on. Then you can, um, you can change color, so you can put it red, so you know um, that you're on that week. OK? So this is really powerful. And it's going to be annoying at first. You're like, oh, this is stupid. I don't want to do this. Like, why I, I don't need to do this. Well, you do because you need to have some structure because it's clear that a lot of you guys, not all of you, but a lot of you guys said you're struggling for reviewing what you're doing. This will be amazing for you because one, it's accountability because every week you're going to be screenshotting this in the Facebook group for everyone to see. Yeah, in the group. <laughs> <laughs> you're going in the group. That's what you want, right? Who, wants it? Who feels uncomfortable or so excited about that? Raise your hands. Exactly, good. Because guys, no one here is judging. No, who's judging everyone else here, guys? Do you care? No. You just care, but who would be excited if everyone here done a deal in four weeks? Would it make you grow? Like, and there are some people that are going to do some big deals. There's some people that do smaller deals. It doesn't matter if it's 500 pounds or five grand, 50 grand. You know, whatever it is, get in the game. That's, I'm trying to get you in momentum because I really believe, like, it's great to go to seminars and stuff, you know, like, you went to 10, not 10X seminar, you went to Grant Cardone, right? A lot of you guys, did you write down what he said? Yeah. But are you applying everything he said? No. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but, Sandra, be credit to you as well. You are doing good stuff. Yeah. Doing exercise, you're doing it daily. So all you've got to do is take them wins and apply it and build on it. Another question. So an hour earlier, is it Monday to Sunday or Monday to Friday? Every day. <laughs> 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 Every day, because this is uncomfortable, do you know what I mean? Like everything I've done, some, you know when they say the deadline's a deadline? You know when you've got homework when you're a kid, right? You get it done. Some of you guys were more the organized ones that had, you know, the goody two shoes, you had it done a month before. Some of you guys got it done the last five minutes. I was the last minute. I just didn't do it. I hated homework. That's why I dropped out two weeks in college. Um, it worked out, all right. But yeah, so, you know, you want to make sure that you really. You give yourself a deadline. You put the pressure on. The, the thing about this, a social peer group of positivity won't be negative. So when you've got a social peer group of it's negative and judgmental, they're like, you're not going to do that. It's, that's negative. Everyone here is engaging. So the four-minute mile story of when everyone saw Roger Bannister do run a mile in four minutes, then three months later, someone did it. But no one did it in human history because belief. There's something very powerful, guys. Everyone, and this is proven, right, by human history, is belief is incredible. If you believe something, they put people on hypnosis, put a cigarette on them, and their, their arm burns because they believe there's nothing on there. It's a, it's a pen. But they believe it, you know? 
Like, and that, well, that's the power of the mind, guys. You've got to use it, right? Who already understands that? Who is sort of not into self-development here before? Like, because I know there's a lot, like, nothing, yeah. Who sort of, at first, it's intri it's like, at first, I understand, I, there's a lot of crap, do you know what I mean? There's too much stuff, but it, there's always one good thing in each bit, right? It's that uh, <laughs> totally changed me, but I, but I am very fussy with what I take on board. Yes. Like, I remember. You'd like Ed Milet. I the guy. He, was the f he was one of the first uh, speaking at when I was at 10X yeah, in Vegas last yeah. February. He was on day one, one of the first speakers. He was unbelievable. Yeah. By miles ahead of 30 plus speakers over yeah. the weekend or whatever. Yeah, he's great. Really good. Because everyone resonates with different people, I think. Like, everyone's going to resonate. For example, like for the women, you might want to check out some of J.K. Rowling's interviews about her struggle. You know what I mean? Like, everyone gets different. Some people prefer listening to people that are very like, oh, you know, like they're, I don't know, like some people are different in the way they communicate. Everyone's really saying the same thing, but everyone's different in the way they communicate it, you know? Um, you know, I'll just throw ridiculous jokes in there like every 40 to 45 <laughs> seconds. But yeah, so do that, guys, really important. So eliminate um, everything you know you need to eliminate. Little things like this, like watching Netflix. I watch Netflix, yeah, I do it in my downtime, I enjoy it. I'm excited, I like going to cinema. I went to the cinema yesterday, I watched Glass. Fantastic. But I got my fucking work done. So then I went to watch it and I could relax and enjoy it. I wasn't like, oh man, I feel itchy. You know you do that? Are you trying to relax? You're like, I've got to make the offers. <laughs> and you're just, you can't relax. I'm like, that's probably my problem. I can't stop working. It's probably something else I've got wrong with me. But um, I love it. It's a pa I'm passionate about it. I don't like just sitting down on the beach, you know? Like, I don't mind it. It's fun. But I really like to grow and just give. It's, it's fun for me. But um, get rid of any news, apps, and TV. Just get rid of it for this 28 days. Am I saying you can't incorporate it after? If you want, guys, look, of course you can. But it's going to be a bit extreme, OK? Is it going to be tough for some people? Mm -hmm. Who watches TV here? Be honest, it's fine if you do. Okay, that's fine, yeah. There's nothing wrong with it. But for these 28 days, none. So your parents are going to fit. 28 days, none. No. <laughs> no. No TV. And this is Sam Ovens. Right, Sam Ovens. So you think I'm like, Sam Ovens? He literally, he, when he moved to LA, he ripped out all the wires out of his TV. And he just goes, I just want to smash him up because I don't want any TV. <laughs> like, he's a bit over that side. But he was literally like, I don't want any TV. And... Um, you know, but the guy is, he's, he's doing well, right? I'm not saying you can't have fun, but for this challenge, I want you just to get rid of any temptations. That's what I'm saying, right? Are you with me, guys? Yes? Yep. So it's like the My Ultra Mind Solution, the book. He talks about getting rid of glue, getting rid of everything, right? Just to see what's affecting your emotions. Does it mean you can't incorporate it in back, you know, incorporate it back in some Netflix? Fine, like, Laurie loves Netflix, I'm watching, but I'm like, Sometimes I'm like, I just can't stop my brain. I mean, I'm excited. I'm like, oh, idea, idea. I want to help that client, you know? Are they closing on that deal? I'm just, I like seeing people get success. That's what I live for. But again, you've got to make sure that you're all in on this. What I want you to be, guys, is all in, okay? Um, so get rid of anything that just holds you back that's not an ROI positive action to get you a deal. So can you think of some actions you're doing or people you're meeting right now that's not ROI positive? Guys? Tons, isn't there? That's the question you've got to ask yourself. Yes. Is this going to make business? Yes. A classic example, I'm just using you guys just because we were talking about this morning, is all the admin around like AML and insurance and all that shit. That's not going to do business, is it? That's, don't get me wrong, it's important, but yeah. it should be right at the bottom of your to-do list is the point I'm obviously, and the point you're making. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I, I learned from, I was like a sponge, I didn't know, so I learned from my mentors in the US, and they just drilled into me. You know, they're 50 years ahead of us guys in wholesaling, deal sourcing. It's 21 year olds doing half a million a year. And um, because it's normal, the four minute mile's been broken. Does that make sense? In America, it's like, it's normal. Here, no. Except a few of the clients, there's not only top sources, a couple of my people that have gone through me, or they've already been doing it for a long time before any internet and stuff. But again, like, it's about the influence, right? So an hour early, get rid of any crap. And just, oh, you've got to be honest. I can't go for every detail now. <coughs> but I also want you to write a commitment goal that basically just says, I'm willing to do whatever it takes to hit my, to do a deal by date. So 28 days, a month from today. So if you write that down on a piece of paper, and I know some of you guys are, oh, that's silly. Guys, I'm going to do it as well. Um, you know, and we're excited because me and Sam, uh, we're partnering up again. We've done stuff behind the scenes for a lot of, for a lot of years. But we, I don't know if you guys will like that if we showcase our deals. Yeah. 
Would that be helpful? Like little deals, some deals will be a grand, some will be five, some will be assisted sales. Me and Sam were talking about um, yeah, showing what we're doing more because I know that inspires. But obviously sometimes it's good, but then they're like, oh, they're gurus, they're gonna do it, you know? Like, but we'll show you, show it to you. Um, so, you know, we're gonna be participating in it as well. It's gonna be fun. So, yeah, that's gonna be fun, all right, guys? So, you know, I'm gonna be, sh I'm every week now on the webinars, it's all gonna be about the challenge for the next four weeks. Okay, so here's what we're doing, here's our ups and downs, you know, what you guys are doing and stuff like that, all right? So it's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, so here's the action list that you got to do. This little, I'm committed to do it, so I'm fucking committed to do it. Yeah, I'm just aware, but <laughs> I'll write it down. Uh, and to put the date on there, sign it, because what you probably don't think this is powerful. I'm not gonna go through all the studies now, I'm a geek on this, so I'll post some stuff. There's studies that prove when you write a commitment, there's something happens in your brain it's you're like you don't want to let people down Accountability. yes there's something in the brain that's like shit i just wrote a commitment goal and i posted it and everyone's relying on me you know what i mean it's good remember the coal to diamond is positive even though you're like oh man i don't have the time i've got too much shit going on today doesn't matter guys if you don't have time to make money then this business probably isn't for you right um so what you're going to do is you're going to write down your goals in the evening before or in the morning, whatever you prefer. And again, just rewrite them in the morning. And when you wake up an hour earlier, what do you do? This is what you do. When you wake up, don't check your phone. Isn't it easy to go like this? Where's my, I don't even know where my phone is. Oh, someone stole my phone. Amazing. It's a new phone I just bought, but thank you. Um, you know, you, you don't, most people grab it and guess what happens? Reaction. Because you can't control someone's message, email about a bill. You, a lot of you guys have other businesses and, you're, and your employer, are, it's like, ah, who has that, right? Reaction. Your girlfriend texting you something. It's like, good Lord, man, I, I just, I don't feel in control of my day. So a lot of millionaires, multimillionaires, Lewis House talks about this on his podcast. You should check that out. School of Greatness, he interviews some good people. Talks about winning your morning. Ed Milet talks about that as well, it's winning your morning, taking control of your day, because your morning, you know, it's the miracle morning, you check that book out, but no one follows it, you know? Like they buy them and no one does it. Um, so we really have to have that influence, but miracle mornings to be extreme. I would say wake up, do 10 minutes of meditation or chill, whatever you want, go for a walk, put a good positive music or podcast in, and just review your goals. And just take a walk or do some exercise or whatever, uh, so whatever you want to do, guys, and just review your goals without anyone around you. You might have your kids and stuff, but it, just try and take 10 minutes or five minutes to yourself for a few minutes just to review your goals that you want to achieve that day. Okay, guys? That's something powerful in that. Also, again, modeled from what Ed said, is have your goals as your um, screensaver on your phone. Because when you look at it, you get reminded, remember that if the RAS in the brain, the reticular activating system, the, you know the law of attraction where you're like, it's, it works, but there's no like steps. The RAS is the, I'm a very spiritual person. Like if you know me, I'm fucking like, yeah, I, I, it could be a long story we could talk about, but a lot of you guys, it doesn't click if I don't bring the science in. So the RAS is basically like the law of attraction, but scientifically broken down. And it's powerful stuff. It's, it's just, I can't believe it, actually, how it works. It's just like, whoa. I set a goal once, and I had about 40 different transactions that met that goal near enough to the penny. 40 different payments, deals, consulting fees, coaching, boom, boom. Like, I was like, whoa, this is this, wow, this is like scary, you know? It's a little bit weird. Um, but do do that, you know? Really focus on looking at your goals consistently because your brain will be like, okay, here's the goal. Here's your predominant thoughts, right? I want to get this. Your brain will look for people and things to get you that. Trust me, who's at a deadline that they didn't think they were going to get done and miraculously they get it done? They hit that goal, that bill you had to pay, that rent. You trust me, guys. For you guys that dive in, you'll be shocked. This is like, it's weird. I can't explain it, but you just have to trust me on it. Um, Okay, so does that make sense so far, guys? So that primes you, right? Robbins talks about it in the morning about priming, getting yourself in that state. So then everything else falls into place, okay? So in terms of the actual strategies is basically whatever you're doing right now, I'm gonna give you a foundation of what to do, is times the activity by five. 
So if you're sending out 500 letters, send out 2,500 if you can. Again, don't go into like, put yourself where you can't afford your mortgage. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? I'm giving you some foundation, but don't go, oh, Tom told me to do this and I'm homeless, you know? Like, you know what I mean, right? Is everyone, everyone agrees with that? Yes, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, but times five reaction. We can say times 10, but let's just start off by timesing it by five. Either what's more or less, I recommend whatever's greater. Um, get at least 10 text messages out a day to sellers and landlords. At least 10. Some marketing, right? And then we've got here in terms of driving for dollars. You can do this yourself or you can get someone. You can hire some. We could do an ad today and we could hire someone tomorrow to do it. It depends. Where you are, I don't know your financial situation. I, can't, I don't have time to go through everyone's specific situation right now. You figure it out. At least 200 letters out driving for dollars a month. So it's either you or you get someone to do it. I recommend you pay them minimum wage um, and then plus £250 commission on each deal. But that has to be done. Um, okay. And again, I'm going to be here to support you. So if you're going to times five your actions on Google and Facebook, you can message me. We have a good chat. Make sure we're not doing anything silly. You send me your ads. I can say, look, delete this. Get rid of this. Let's start fresh. So we can look at that as well, OK? So we're not going to be doing anything silly. But we need to get out of our comfort zone, guys. Like we're going to have to do it. So I'm delivering. I'm going to be showing you what I'm doing. I'm doing this as well. Me and Sam are doing this. I'm not like, going to tell you to do it and not do it myself. So we're all in this together, right? Um, I mean, I'm not looking to do a deal. We have some more deals than that. <laughs> but yeah, like I'm going to show you what I'm doing and what also is like shit. Actually, that that's not working as well, you know. So it's going to be a review. These webinars are going to be like, where are we, guys? P doing polls. Where are we on the Facebook group? Same thing. It's all going to be about how's the leads working out, how's the offers working out. So you know what's coming next? Five verbal offers a day. Verbal and email sent. You mean message of intent? Or? So, and actually the email offer as well. And intent, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is our direct to vendor stuff. This is stuff we can control. We can do that. So that's seven days a week, by the way. So let's just say, for example, you don't do Saturday and Sunday. But your VA can do this as well, but as long as it, as long as it gets done. So you can get a VA to do this. It, so, for example, if you have 20 um, on Saturday and Sunday to do, just fill it in from Monday to Friday, right? You don't have to do it Saturday and Sunday, but as long as that 70 goes out every week. Yeah, that's the key, 70 a week. So, Tom, do you mean to say um, send 10 messages a, a day and then uh, make five uh, verbal offers to your leads? Five verbal offers to your leads, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can, we can get five. 10, 10, 15 uh, messages a day anyway. Yeah. Everyone gets back to us. Yeah, well, whatever. Well, all, obviously, I'm going to talk about all of your other leads follow up as well. Mm. So you guys can call everyone that rejected your offers as well. I'm going to talk about well, I'm, I'm not finished the marketing yet. Yeah, yeah we're going to get more leads. Um, so, okay, guys. So, yeah, so we've got at least, at least 10 texts. Again, the rules of this are at least 10. So if you want to do 25, 30, then add it up. It depends. I don't know. I don't know how much follow up you guys have or whatever you've got. But make sure you increase. And drive for dollars at least two hundred. So I like to put two hundred. My goals. I like to put plus at the end. It's a subconscious thing. I've always done it since. I always have done this thing. I don't know why. Because I hate limiting myself. I uh, I just get angry at myself. <laughs> I don't like going oh two hundred. Then your brain's oh you got two hundred now. You're done. So who have you had done press ups? When you say twelve, your brain will. Get ready to quit at 10 or 11. That's subconscious. You, you, your mind controls your body. And it's just, it's just weird and powerful. But make sure you put a plus at the end. So increase in leads. Gumtree, you're going to hit for sale and, to, and for rent. Um, I would say, it's a good point, Patty said, actually. I, what I would do in your areas, I would go back in the archives on Gumtree. You know, you go back five pages, 10 pages, 20 pages. I would go back and contact um, a week back 
back to 90 days. I'd give yourself a, a task for your VA, that will probably be about 1,000. That will give you enough. <laughs> 500 or whatever it is. Yes, yes. What I, would, what I would do is I would go in with a text and just say, hey, are you, are you free to have a chat about your house? I'd keep it light. I'd keep the text really light so you can get them on the phone. Because that's where it's made, isn't it, Sam? It's the phone. I keep it light. But also, if you're struggling with hitting the five offers a day, go back in the archives and go back a certain amount of pages back to do that. Um, Okay, that, that's cool. Um, driving for dollars, again, 200. 200 should get you, um, I would say, about 20 calls. 20, 30 calls. Okay, so Google is going to be coming next week. But it's, it, this is the mindset, guys. I, I don't want to, like, it's a do or die, okay? That's what I'm trying to get across to you. It's either, like, your urgency where you have to make it happen. Um, I just want to push you guys across the line. You have to go big with this. Um, so if you're doing, like, direct mail, I recommend, it, recommend again, it times it by five. So for example, if you're gonna go with Google, and you've got Google and Facebook, again, times it by five, or direct mail. Let's just say it's not bringing you in, like you don't wanna spend really good money, you wanna be smart about it, then incorporate mail in there as well. Does that make sense, guys? Yes? Any questions about that specifically? Okay, um, here's, the rule, here's the main rule. If you're not getting at least five new leads coming in a day, up it, up the ante with driving for dollars, up the ante with Gumtree, or up the ante with your probate mail, or your right move mail. And again, we're gonna be there to support you with any specifics. Hey, you know, what direct mail list do I use? And I'll be like, here's what you do, boom. Watch this video, go here. But it doesn't matter, guys. It's like, if you had your life on the line, and you had to get a deal done and sold, you wouldn't be worried about the details, would you guys? That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get you fucking out of your detail minds that's holding you back, yes? Yes, guys? Yeah. Okay, good. Um, now this is coming up. It should be front plate. If you click on, yeah, front plate and then HDMI. Yeah, perfect. Thank you, man. Um, yeah, so what is going to be your tracker of them actions? Will you slip? It, some of you guys won't. Some of you guys will be disciplined. Some of you guys will. So what you have to do, what I'm asking for you, is to, every time you wake up, again, screenshot it, screenshot your phone, and post it in the group. So write this down, guys, so you're clear. I'll be reminding you guys on the Facebook group. I want you to do the, um, I am committed to do whatever it takes. Because some people closing in on million pound, you wouldn't believe me, would you? Million pound deals. Million pound deals. So that's the power of it, guys, okay? you. You, you don't know. There'd be one of you that might end up closing on a 50 to 100 grand deal. And you go, oh, shit. Okay, I'm going to put my notice in now. Might, some of you guys might do just 500. It doesn't matter, right? Who would still be happy if they'd done a 500 quid deal? Right? Exactly. So that's the power of it. Malcolm. Uh, yeah, what's the mean? Pay per click. Sorry? Pay per click. So that's like Google or Facebook, yeah. Okay. So the Google advertising is I'm really going to do some good training with you on that and just yeah, tell you what to do. I've learned some awesome stuff, and that's what we're going to be doing as well. So again, it's going to be controlled, but I'm going to show you what I'm doing. So it's going to give you the confidence to go, hang on a minute. If, look at Tom's results, look what he's doing, and I'm going to be like, like here's what you've got to do as well, right? Um, and it's, and it's, it's a, such a big ocean with YouTube and Facebook. It's just crazy. So it's not going to be perfect. This challenge isn't about having everything, all your ducks in a row. It's about getting uncomfortable. You're following that, right, guys? Yeah. Okay, cool. So you're going to be posting your time. You don't have to post your goal. Um, you don't have to post what you're doing, your goals. Uh, but every week, this little spreadsheet, you can create a copy. Um, it's already in the group. But you're just going to be um, writing down <coughs> what actions you're doing. Okay. So you just write down on a, on a weekly basis. So for example, you might just write down on a, whatever. I, I'd normally just do it on a piece of paper, right? I write down what I'd done that day and what my actions were. I reviewed them. At the end, I do them in the evening. So before I relax, I say, Laurie, just chill, just chill out. I'll write down what I've got to do, get it out of my head, and then I can just relax then. And I can obviously go to sleep. Uh, but that's how I do it. So make sure that you guys are reviewing, because this is done weekly. So for example, 
how much hours did we put in? So be honest, if you watched Netflix two hours a day, it's 10 hours. So these are zero pound an hour activity. Let's be honest, guys. Netflix is not going to make you do deals, is it? <laughs> Come on, guys, right? Yes? Yes or no? Watching YouTube videos is not going to make you do deals. It's just not. What I learned from my mentor, this, this is my cure to just buy any like, low you have. Take so much action you don't have enough time to think. Thinking is what is the enemy to you being great. You know, it really is. Yeah, do that, yeah, do, do that. <laughs> but you know what I mean, right? Like, uh, even that, to get rid of, like, only the webinars, just watch that. Or the educational videos and what you need to know. Um, or some music, I'm just trying to keep your mind clear. It's like a cleanse, you know when they say like do cleanses? It's like a business cleanse, and no one talks about this, because they're all doing it, all the, a lot of them in people in property, you know? Like, they're everywhere. So, you know, so obviously write this down. Hopefully the goal is these, is less, and this is just an example, okay? Um, your, your spouse is gonna love me. He hate me, but uh, that's, that's the uh, sacrifice being successful. So these ones, for example, speaking to a buyer, creating best practice documents, posting content on social media, you, you get what I mean, right? Messaging people. Really where we wanna be is here. We wanna be on, on these ones. So we want to be obviously making offers. So these are just examples, but if I got rid of these, um, okay, so planning and organizing your day, yes, because you need to have a clear goal. Writing down, writing down daily goals, making offers, generating leads, uh, you could put networking, that could be co-sourcing. So anything that is going to help you do that goal, right? Does that make sense, guys? Yes, I know I keep repeating myself, but I want to make sure that you guys are clear. Um, don't worry about all this stuff. Um, don't even worry about this. Like the, this, we don't have time to hire a sales team, right? <laughs> Our feet's to the fire. It's like someone's gone like, Tom, do a deal in 28 days, otherwise I'm killing you. I, I don't, I can't be like, yeah, I think I'm going to hire some team members. No, I don't, I can't do that. I need to... Um, partnering with big sources, yes. Reason why is because they might have some deals that I have a buyer for or someone in the group has a buyer for. One of, a lot of you guys are gonna do deals in the next month from co-sourcing, from collaborations and co-sourcing, finding guys that have buyers, finding guys that have sources. And guess what, because your RAS is focused on a deal, you're gonna <laughs> see things this month that you never, you never saw before. You're gonna be like, wow, this is, this is just crazy shit because your brain's focused on it, you know? Um, and this is what successful people do. If they say this, if they go, that's rubbish, I don't do that. Yeah, they do. Observe them, they only think, they're obsessed about business in a good way, you know? Um, this is really good as well, you know, reflection, being honest with yourself, you know? Um, so you guys can be focusing on this as well. So, you know, these things here, what we're gonna do is they each have an ROI yield. For example, £1,000 an hour. So if your actions are going in to these ones here, these two, these three, you're going to have much more of a likelihood of getting a deal done. Does that make sense? Can you give me a yes? Yes. yes? Okay, fantastic, good. So you guys are following. So let's keep this real simple. We need to generate leads and make offers. If we don't have five leads coming in, fresh ones, to get on the phone with, we need to ask ourselves, you need to go, Tom, Sam, we know, we're struggling with leads. Now I'm going to say, look, Increase this, increase that, start applying this. I don't have the budget, okay, great. Well, you're gonna have to hustle. You're gonna have to get a bit of a grind on right now. You're gonna have to start to do more driving for dollars, go out. Does it make sense? So wherever you are financially or time-wise, you're gonna have to adapt. So the goal of this whole challenge is to one, get you cash in your bank. Two, it's to get you doing things you didn't think you could do. Because I've seen people do insane stuff in this business. Like, and, and you know, like I know my buddy, hopefully he's gonna come to Marbella. He's in Amazon, he started in the same council estate. He's a multimillionaire now, in three years. Like, come on, like, you know, like that's amazing. Because his mindset, that's what's so powerful about it. And he's happy, right? Um, but this guy, the reason why he did it is his girlfriend, you know, Ollie, uh, got booted out 
is uh, she was Mala uh, from Malaysia. She got booted out of the country because he didn't make over 22,000 a year. So that forced him to make money. Now they're living in Sweden. She's got a visa now and it's a great story. He, I was with him. Every, he was by my side every day for a year doing business together. It forced her. I saw him go from nothing to make in Amazon um, 150 grand profit in his first year. And he'd done so much listings that he couldn't, he was like, he'd, I've never seen anyone list that much. He was like exhausted, but he was so focused because he had a big goal. Does that make sense, guys? Like he had a goal that was driving him as getting his girlfriend back. Imagine if someone you love, they're just kicked out of the country. Would you have drive? Yeah, of course. Heck yes. See, that's the drive that I want you to start thinking. That's why I talk about gold. Do I want to be talking about gold? <laughs> so I, not really, guys. I just want to say, like, here's what you've got to do. But I've got to talk about this because if you don't get it, you won't see. I want you to see what's possible for yourself. So this challenge, the rules are that I ask you to do is wake up an hour earlier, write them down, and make sure you post that in the group. So even if you didn't do it, me and Sam, because everyone that writes their commitment that says, I'm willing to do whatever it takes, we are going to, we have a list, me, Saida, and Sam, <laughs> and we're going to be holding you accountable to that because you want us to, guys. Is that what you want? That's what you paid, right? Yes. You know, and even like most groups, they're just like, they can give a crap. They don't even know who you are. They don't know your names. Like, we're not about that. We're about to get you results. That's all I really give a crap about, to be honest, guys. It doesn't matter if you, so it doesn't, it's not if you're our friends or not, if you agree with everything we say, it's about helping you get results. Okay, and I believe this is going to be one of the best ways and it's stuff you already know. Some of you guys already know about this, but it's like, yeah, but we need to do it, right? 10 exit. And some of you guys that have a bigger budget, you might go, Tom, I've seen your Google ads, what you're doing. Can I have a call? I want to put this in. I'm like, okay, yeah. So who's in that bracket? Like wants to tackle Google ads and you show a face. Okay, well you can message me and we can chat about it next week. Um, if you're in a lower uh, threshold of marketing and you want, in, you want to get some instant, start with some mail. Get some direct mail out or start doing drive for dollars. Okay? And um, one last marketing tactic, so obviously this is how you got your deal, right? Um, agents. So if you're lacking in leads, because uh, there were some people in the group that said agents doesn't work. I'm like, oh God, not again. Is someone else saying, it's like doubt in the mint. It's like, it does work. It works, right guys? The agent strategy got you that deal. It's like, Man, come on, I've seen so many deals. It's not going to work all the time. But if you quit, it will never work. So if you are struggling with lead volume, get a VA to just make at least 200 offers a week to agents. Don't worry if it's the same freaking agent. Who gives a crap? Just make the offers. Trust me, just get volume out there. I love this, what Joe McCall taught me. He said, shoot first, aim later. And I've always applied that. And it just, like, it just... This makes you feel more like confident in yourself. You're not like an analysis paralysis. Even some of you guys, when you take the personality test, you're going to be the detail people. You need everything to make sense, but most people that do that have no money. You know, that's why they say a lot of the engineers never make money. They're the most hard, you know, I've known a lot of mentors, they're the most hardest people to teach, engineer types, because they detail everything to death. <laughs> and they never start. Who's like that engineer type? <laughs> yeah, but some of you guys are taking action, so you guys are still doing it, right? Um, but it can be a challenge for your mind to be like, oh, but I need, you know, there has to be a process and um, just, just start. Um, is that, are you following so far, guys? Yes? Yeah. Okay, cool. So what we're going to be doing is, again, we're going to be holding you accountable through the webinars, but also daily. So, you know, what Vo on Voxer, it's like, did you guys post your... Um, activity. So what I want you guys to do is post your activity for the day. Here's what I did. So let's just say you're writing down your actions. You don't, if you've got property addresses and stuff of your deals, just cross them out. But you know what I mean? Let's just say three leads, you made five leads. Just post that in the group. Here's what I did. Because if no one, if no one does it, guys, that's gonna, is it going to be a bit disappointing if only a few do it, guys? Yes? Yeah, like just do it, guys. Do you know what I mean? It's like, we need the campaign. It's like, yeah, here it is. Go, go do it. And we're going to be there to push you. I wouldn't be reading books, going to courses. I wouldn't be, you know, focusing on too much education, really. Only if you need it. Let's just say, it's like, how do I do the text message again or the direct mail list? Go watch that video, but don't watch any more. No Tony Robbins, no all these self-development stuff. Just action. Like you're in a jungle 
and you've got to survive, right? You don't have time to be like, but well, I need to have some more affirmations. I know it sort of, it sort of counter argues what I was talking about earlier, but really, I'm like, just peak fucking action, all right, guys? That, that, that's the whole. The whole well, I was just going to just quickly sum it up, so I think the long and short of all of this, there's quite a bit going on, and obviously, what you're listing off, but the long and short of it is if. Is it, if it boils back down to this one single thing. Yes, yeah. Minimum of five offers per day. If you do that for 28 days, you, there's going to be deals and opportunity. That is the long and short of it. And as long as you're getting them out, we can help you do the next step and try and get the business closed. But if you're making offers, you're in the mix for opportunity, mm. basically. That is the long and short of it, isn't it? Exactly. So, <coughs> for example, a lot of you guys that have already built up, who's built up co-sourcing relationships? Go deep on that and revisit that. Really be like, like your life depend on it. It's like, who's got a deal? I need a deal. On LinkedIn, on Facebook. Hey guys, I'm looking for deals. I got taught this, you can use this. We've got buyers, have got uh, millions burning a hole in their pocket and we need to fund deals. We need to acquire properties. We're looking for single lets, HMOs, basically your buyer's criteria. You're a spokesperson for your buyer. Bring me deals, message me these deals. 80% of them would be garbage, but there's always one. There's always one. There's going to be crap. A lot of people are but I get so much crap sent through. Well, guys, it's expected. Because people don't do their due diligence, right? But there's going to be a few gems in there and a relationship that you might become multimillionaires over the years through that relationship you've built. I did that when I started. Facebook and LinkedIn, I was like, okay, I need a deal. Hang on a minute, I've got some buyers I'm building up that are asking me for lease options. Well, let me look at every single LinkedIn and Facebook group, see if anyone's posting lease options, message them to see if they've got any more. Let me go on Gumtree to see who's posting rent to buy ads. Why? Because that obviously means they've got a tenant buyer for their lease option. Let's see if they've got any more. I would go back two, three years, and guess what? There was a few people who said, yeah, I do have some lease options. I had an accountant that was buying any lease options, this guy. What happened? I matched the two together, I made a grand, 1500 on each deal. Because I wasn't overthinking it, I was like, how do I get the deals, right? And that's where I focused, and I built some good relationships with some big sources back then. Being a little guy, no one knew me at all. But because I had the buyers and they didn't, I added value to them. So you want to be looking at who in this group also has buyers. Like today, you know, networking or after, grab something to eat or drink or something, you want to be like, who's got buyers? Who's got deals? Hey guys, anyone got any? Yeah, uh, who's got a deal they're struggling to sell? I do. Cool. Uh, what deal is it? Does that make sense? So we can do that later. We can post it up on the group and say, who's got deals? Post some and then see if we can get deals done like really fast immediately. So it's not just about direct to vendor. It's about co-sourcing as well and the power of co-sourcing. Later today is I'm going to write a post of everything I've confirmed today, right? So, you know, where we're going to keep you accountable, what you've got to do. And of, of course, like you're going to be engaged. You've got to be engaged with this. So don't feel like, oh crap, where do I go to get them direct mail lists? I should know this by now. Just ask. So look, here's where it is. We're here to support you, me, Cider, and Sam. And again, will everyone do a deal? Hopefully, yes. Probably not everyone. But will you have a heck of a lot going on? Yes. So who thinks they can do a deal, guys, next 30 days? Yes? Okay, good, guys. Good. Yes? Okay, yes. ask a question twice. It always works. Um, great little tip there. Just I'll invoice you later for that. But yeah, so it's very powerful, guys. And use this calendar every week. So all you've got to do, write it down however you like to do it, iPhone, and then go back and write down where your hours went in this calendar, and you're going to screenshot that. So you're going to say, look, actually, this week was even better. I accomplished more. This week sucked. Next week, I'm going to double up. Try not to have each week suck, guys, because your life's on the line, right? <laughs> That's the accountability behind this.